Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I had a request to do an updated flip on my personal planner. This is a Vanderspeck 25mm Janet, Janet Brown leather. I had this customized a couple of months ago I received it. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you the personalizations that I've done to it and also give you um, a link to where you can get these for free. I've made my own inserts and I give these away for free to people that join my Facebook group. So I'm just going to show you the very front, take you through it. It's not much has changed so that's why I haven't really done an updated flip through. This is going to be reserved. I bought this from, um, it's just a pocket thing that I bought from Cat Espresso Co. I'm going to reserve it for a couple of family photos. I made this, um, it says beautiful. I made this on my own and made it with my Cricut machine. These are the same dividers that I made. They're acetate dividers and it says the month on it. This is just a sample of the future log. This is for next year, so it's not filled out yet, but this is just January, February, March, April. There are more pages with more stuff filled out that I won't be able to share. Then let me take you through a month that has nothing really inside of it. Let's see if I can take you, okay. So this is what the beginning of the month looks like. It says November, these are dated. So these are available for free in the Franklin Cubby compact size, which is four and a quarter by 6.75. It's just a half inch longer than personal sizes. So that's why I like this size. Um, so this is the front of it and the months are given hard breaks on each, on each paper. So you just print one side front and then flip it over and print the back side. And on the inside, it's pretty empty for me. So I'm able to show you that this is what it looks like. It's dated. You have space to write down anything here and extra space to write down what you need here. You can put stickers or washi tape on it or decorate it how you want. But this is kind of how how mine looks. And then I, I'll i show you how, how I use my weeklies because I have a couple of empty ones. This is the format that I have been using for quite some time since the beginning, well, since the end of last year. It's the Hobonichi style layout where it has seven days on the left side and then it has grid and this is like, I think this is five millimeter grid. I just made this myself. These are for free. These are undated so you can put in the date yourself and it has a place at the top where you can put the week of. This is included in my Facebook group um, so the files are free. The Facebook group that I have is linked up at the top. And if you can't find the link or you're having trouble getting to the link, just let me know in the comments and I'll go ahead and direct you to the site. And then I did make some extra dashboard style weekly inserts that I gave out for free. I made four different types. And the first one I made is, um, this is number one. Now I named it dashboard layout style number one in the group. So you have your, your days of the week. It's a Monday start. I also did a Sunday start. So there's two variations of this depending on how you like your weeks to start. It has um, a place where you have a tracker and I did fix that part. I put the Monday, Tuesday, you know, and if you have a Sunday start, it starts with a Sunday right there as well. So I fixed that tracker. It has a priority things of what to do that week. It has a spot where you can write what you need to remember for next week so that when you're flipping through and writing your stuff down for the next week you can refer back to the past week and see to make sure that you have your goal or whatever project that you needed to do completed and then this is just an extra space of like tasks or things that you really maybe are more or you, you just use it however you want so this is kind of just an example of how I did it these are all undated so you can use them over and over and you can um, use as many as you want. You can download all of them. It doesn't, you know, it, how you want to make it work for you. And then, um, this, so this is, this is called dashboard layout style number one. And then this is called dashboard style layout number two. What I did was I did a horizontal weekly. I did five on one side and then I did the weekends together. 
But again, if this is a Sunday start, it would split the weekends up. It depends on how you want yours to be. And then I added a huge tracker right here so you have more tracking. And I just gave an example of how some people do track their stuff of what I've seen um, on Instagram or Pinterest. And then I gave like a to-do list, a check mark down at the bottom. So half of it is grid and half of it's not. You guys can, and it's a light faint grid on the inside. You guys can decorate that how you want to and set that up how you want to if you prefer this style. And then um, this is, so this is dashboard style layout number two. And then let's go to number three. Number three is it has a tracker at the top. It has the week, days of the week. These are all the same size, but it has Monday through Saturday. So it has six of them in a line. And then it has the bottom, it has Sunday. Or if this is a Sunday start, this would be Saturday. And then it has a place right here that you could put, like I put down our dinners that I made that week. So it has a Monday through Sunday, or like I said, if it's a Sunday start, I made sure that it says Sunday up here too. Um, and then it has a list right here. It has dot grid over here, which is I think five millimeter dot grid. And then um, it has a little space to write out whatever you need to write out for the week. So this is um, another style that you may like and it's totally free and it's undated. So just write your own dates in and write down you know, what you need to do if this style works better for you. And for the fourth one that I made, I left this intentionally blank so that you could write, you know, what you wanted to. I just wrote the, I just wrote June out. But all of these, let me take this off. This is just a re, re-stickable tab that I have just so that I can take you through this. Um, so the days of the week are on the top and they're all the same size. And um, then there's a goals page. This one is more geared towards finance. So if you're somebody who keeps charge of your finances, this might be helpful for you. And then there's a gratitude. What are we thankful for that week? And then I did put like a weekly chores list. And if, if you like this tr tracker, but want it to say something different on any of these, you can just message me through my Facebook group and I would be happy to customize anything for you within this layout if you want these headings to say something di something different. Um, I have no problems doing that. I actually, I just like making things for people, things that I would find helpful for me. I like giving them away too. So I have a to-do list, which is quite, quite large to-do list. So if you have a lot of things and you're busy and you have a lot of things to keep track of, that might be helpful. I have an expenses place and how much you spent with a total amount. I also have like an income um, like how much you're receiving in and this is just a sample of you know and then of is this is a sample I wrote in some fake numbers and things like that and then I wrote a place like the bills that are due for this week just for this week alone and then some of the online orders that maybe I made or that are coming in that I'm expected this week and then I do have a little um, tracker you can use it however you want to it starts with, I always do Monday start for myself, but I know some people like Sunday starts. So if it has a Sunday start, again, I made the tracker start with a Sunday. And so these are all free, and this is dashboard layout style number four. Um, and again, that's on my Facebook group. But for mine, um, it just goes back into the blank weeklies because I need to figure out what style I'm going to use for myself and fill it in. And then I have my home tab, which just goes through and kind of a clothing size log for my family members and kind of like the clothes that they like and the sizes that they like. I have an employment thing for my husband and I haven't filled that out yet, but I will. And I have a meals, this kind, this is our favorite meals that I've written down. Actually, I just printed it out, but you can add to it. So that way, if I'm having a hard time trying to find something to make, I'll go to our favorite meals that I know that we absolutely love, and I'll plug them in for the week. But I tend to just do um, 
four days worth of grocery shopping at a time and I'll write down the meal that we plan on making and on this side I'll write down the ingredients that aren't in my cupboard or fridge and I'll go ahead and get those um, picked up at the grocery store that week. So this is kind of like how I've just made my weekly meals and this is I haven't put this up there but I was going to I was going to lighten up the way because I think this is a little bit bold I was going to lighten up the table on this but if you want this I can go ahead and put the file as well in there for you I didn't know if anybody was interested in like weekly meals or anything like that I plan very functionally so it helps keep me keep stuff um organized for my life not everybody's like that but this is just how I do it in my rings planner and then I did print out some dailies for myself but I think I'm going to actually kind of change up the format of that a little bit before I go through them all so this is what I have so far but I think I'm going to change it before I would give these away I really don't know I mean, this is what works for me because I like to write a little journal of how I felt I like to keep track of what I've eaten and so this would be like stuff that I need to get done. I might actually put this into a check mark, check box type of layout and then change that before I would, you know, give that away. But this is kind of the same stuff. Um, I have some photos on the other side and then this is kind of, okay, so this one I, I haven't wrote down yet how much everything costs. I need to go through my receipt and figure out what we had to buy and how much it was but I have in previous months written down what um, this what everything costs so that I can see where we can make changes at and possibly switch some brands out or switch um, you know from pot from Tide Pods to um, powder and then I just have no paper in the back which is actually just some of it's blank and some of it's lined. This is the size of personal. As you can see, it is much more narrow than the Franklin Covey compact size, but I didn't have to have this planner um, adjusted in width. It, it was, it actually, it fits really nicely. I like how flush everything comes up to the edge. So I really enjoy this and it's nice to hold in the hand and it's pretty compact. So this is um, my functional personal planner that I keep for my weekly stuff. And then I'm going to do an updated video on the one that I'm going to use to travel with. So thank you for watching and hopefully um, you enjoyed my content. And if you would like, you can subscribe because I do a couple of weekly videos um, every week. So thank you for joining and have a great day.